hello everyone in this video we will see how to create uh, ec2 instance in that how to launch ansible for that i am going to create a ec2 server so basically i am taking linux so in the linux i am choosing the free tier so I'm choosing T2 micro and then I'm choosing key pair and then I'm choosing the security group. So for Ansible manage node and control nodes are communicated with via SSH. So SSH is enough. And uh, for the storage, I'm choosing 8 GB, which is enough. And I'm choosing instances three. Otherwise you can choose four also. So I'm choosing four. So this is the method for Ansible installation with pip. So for pip, I have to using the user data in that I'm using the below script yum install python iphone pip iphone y so this is the comment so yum install python pip iphone y and I'm just launching You can see that all the four instances are under pending status. I'm choosing this one as control node. And these are all managed node one. Managed node two. manage node 3 so right now i have launched a total four instances so i'm going to install ansible <clears throat> so ansible follows the pull mechanism so it is agentless tool <clears throat> basically agentless tool means the python will be installed on the master tool and it won't required on the managed nodes slave nodes so this is called agentless tool so i already installed pip using the python so just going to login so for this i am using pagan tool so using the pagan tool we can able to log in these slave nodes so for that you have to install pagan tool so for me pagan is already running if not running just try to take the pagan tool once so go to the pagan here you need to add the key so I already added key. So for you, I just removed the key to show the things. So you have to add the key. So in key, you have to add your key in PPK format. So I added. Now you can see here. My key is already added. So using that, you can able to log in the slave nodes from the master node. So I am just copied the public IP and I am changing the appearance for better. And then you have to choose here authentication, allow agent forwarding. So it is a Linux easy to hyphen user so you can 
switch it to the root user and you you need to install python okay for that pip install yum install python so it is says that package python which is already installed that's why we have given the command yum install python iphone pip iphone y so python is already installed here you can see here where python is already installed and uh, we have installed via pip method in pip method there are two methods of installation in ansible one is pip method another one is without pip method in without pip method you will get a two files which is inventory file and configuration file but in pip method you won't get when you list it you can't see nothing so once you installed this one pip method you need to install as ansible so for that you need to switch it as a root user and type pip install ansible so right now ansible is getting loading and installing it's downloading so we need to wait for the installation you can see here ansible is now installed so you can check ansible installed or not using ansible ipan ipan version command so you can see here ansible is installed 